back to my channel if you guys don't know who I am who I am my name is Geraldi Silva I make videos all about like planner videos lifestyle videos and anything organization so if that's your type of jam go ahead and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already so today's video making a vision board so I do these every single year I look a lot of people use them as like manifestation board I do a mixture of like motivation and then slightly like manifestation but I did actually get a lot of did actually get a lot of um, my goals or yeah a lot of my goals done this year insane because I didn't because when I was looking at this vision board I was like oh I don't know if I actually got everything that I wanted this past year but when I look at it I'm like wait a minute yeah I did like majority of the stuff I actually did get without even me thinking about it so in a way I did manifest it and it was like somewhere in my subconscious and I have this board um, right where my makeup drawer is so every single day that I would walk into my room I would always see it and like I left it alone for a while I wasn't really pursuing it, it I was just something that I always like subconsciously looked at and I guess in a subconscious manner I did manifest the life that I want like wanted to grow to i'm not at the life that i wish to have but i at the life that i wish um but i am like closer i can feel myself getting closer and closer to the life i do want so with that being said um we're gonna go through this past year and let you guys know like what i did accomplish and what i didn't accomplish and then we're gonna go into the goals that i wish to get this year um and i'm going to show you guys how to create your own vision board and how to really use use it in a way that can really help you get what you want okay number one was um this girl graduating i did actually graduated i graduated um in december of 2020 I also got my license for a speech therapist assistant so i graduated with that too so i did I like finished all of my schooling stuff so that's that was really exciting to see um so I did actually end up accomplishing this which is pretty exciting the self-growth and the confidence to be quite honest I did get this in a way um I was in a relationship for the past few months and with that relationship it allowed me to grow a lot more confidence within myself and have a lot of self growth so which is pretty exciting and for my fitness goal i actually ended up losing 30 pounds um i was weighing a good i was i was really overweight especially in the beginning of 2021 so one thing is that like i really wanted really wanted to lose a lot of weight i wanted to get back to a healthy weight size and as of right now i've lost 30 pounds so far i still have like maybe a good more 15 pounds to go so that's pretty exciting you know i'm getting closer to looking how i've always wanted to look um so that's like really exciting you know management um i didn't really get to manage my life a lot um instead i actually did a lot of self like self growth self reflection so there wasn't and my life was pretty unbalanced so i wouldn't say that i like managed it in any else in any way so management and entrepreneurship i didn't accomplish that my fashion my fan my i don't know if you can see that it's like all the way at the bottom um my fan my fashion i did elevate my look a lot um I have a lot more pieces that I truly love that are very interchangeable. Um, I could go through my closet right now and pick out like a, a really nice outfit with the clothes that I love right now. So I'm really liking my fashion. Um, I know it says Gucci and Dior. Um, I don't have like pieces like that. I have some expensive pieces, but my clothes are a mix between like luxury and not luxury affordable so i'm like in that middle ground where i just love every single piece that i have um my last one is moving out my dream is always has been always to have like my own place my own apartment i didn't accomplish that this, i mean technically i did i did have my own apartment for a little while so this was a yes and a no so for this upcoming year i want a place that's mine and some place that i don't need to move out of so yeah so i guess majority like how many was that one two i'm gonna count this as two three 
four, five, six. Five out of six things happened, which is really freaking exciting. Like I didn't, I'm just like, wow. Like I actually managed to like, managed <laughs> to get what I wanted. So for this year, a lot of things have changed. A lot of goals that I've wished before have changed into other goals now. So this, I wrote my little list of the things that I want. And I'll zoom you guys in. These are the things that I want. So, and what I like to use, I like to use a lot of, like I'm a very like visual person. So I like to use a lot of like pictures and stuff um, to really get more of a feel of what it is that I want to accomplish. Okay. <clears throat> So these are my yearly goals. So number one is to travel. Number two is to get an apartment. Get my own apartment is just always been my dream. Um, number three is to get a school slip a job with full benefits. Number four is to buy a new Lexus, either the IS or the LC. I do want a new car. I want a newer car. I want like a brand new one. I've never had like a brand new car before. But I put both of them because I wanna buy either one of these whichever financially makes sense. The so number five is to make more friends. I have six is to date more. With that being said, my dog is barking. We're gonna go into Pinterest. So Pinterest is a place where I go to gather all of my photos that make sense to what I am wanting. One place that I truly always wanted to go to. So we're gonna start with travel and we're gonna look for photos for that which I feel like I'm not gonna say that very long. But one thing I've always wanted to do in life is to travel to Paris. And like traveling could be like little things, like like I said, like going to the beach. So I'm gonna find like pictures of the beach, pictures of like national parks, going to the mountains and going to the snow, you know, doing stuff like that with, or like going to the aquarium, going to Disneyland, like things like that. So I'm, I'm gonna have a lot more pictures this year on my vision board. Um, with the word like I have I have an idea of how I want to do this, but you know what? I'm getting kind of hungry So I'm gonna take a break. I'm gonna come back after I have lunch. So I'll be back <laughs> Okay, just had my lunch. It was very delicious. So I'm gonna go off the pictures that I want I'm gonna screenshot them and then edit them on my laptop and then um I'll explain all of that later. But as of right now, we're just going to choose the pictures that I want. So I'm going to save them on my phone, screenshot them, and then I'll send them to my laptop. And then I'll show you what it is to do next. <laughs> So I'm gonna pull out the photos that I have on my desktop and then we're just gonna end up moving them. Oh, not that much. 
<laughs> we're gonna end up moving them one by one i tried moving them all at once and that wasn't working so it's because each picture is going to be in a different size as you can tell like this one's a lot more bigger than that one so what we're going to do is we're going to resize them so it doesn't have to be like specific like they all don't need to be in the same size per se you can change them into whatever size you want them to be and it preferably would be better if it was like different sides sizes yes yeah, so i'm going to be changing their sizing to whatever i feel like and you can do it in multiple different ways so you can change them you can make some of them bigger than other ones depending on what you feel like is more valuable so let's say why do i have like three of these pictures Stupid. um am i just dragging the same one it looked like it was oh i don't know what was happening there so like let's say um, me going to Paris is is like a big um, thing for me. Why does it do that? It's so dumb. I hate this. Stay on page, sir. Um, so like going to Paris is a really big thing to me. So I'm gonna make it bigger than the other pictures. Um, you can add text um, on here that you want to print off. There's like, can go with like a color scheme. It just all depends on what you want out of your vision board. For me this year, like I said last year, I didn't do a lot of pictures. This year I'm putting a lot of pictures because I want to make it m more visually appealing to me and I get more of a like I said, more of a visual of what I want. When it comes to the piece of paper, you can use cards. I'm going to use cardstock for the main board. Um, you can use copy paper, colored paper, um, but I'm going to just use a regular white ca uh, cardstock that I have. But you don't need to go out and buy like fancy paper in any way. These are all the pictures that I have. And I'm going to go ahead and print this out. Let me just go through them. And I'm just going to print them out on regular copy paper and then I'll show you guys what the next step is when it comes to adding these to your vision board. Okay, so I apologize for the glare of the window. I kind of feel like it gives it a little bit of an aesthetic, so we'll see. So I printed off my pictures. Um, my printer did not do a very good job of like printing really good like quality pictures, so whatever. We're just going to do with what we got. Um, I tried printing them twice and this is the best we could do so i have them all cut and everything and i went ahead and um wrote down the words of what my goals were so like travel uh friends and like all that and then my word of the year which is elevate and i'm gonna put this in the center so there's multiple different ways on how you can organize your vision board so you can what I typically like to do is I like to start off with the big pictures and layer. I do like a layering thing. So I lay out um, the bigger pictures and then layer on top. And I do them in little sections. So for example, I have six different goals. So that means they're going to be six different sections. And obviously some of them are going to overlap. Some of them are not even going to fit. So we'll see what fits and what doesn't. So I'm going to start off with the pictures that I have on top, which are going to be my... My Tom Holland over here, because he is a babe.
exactly like what I need. I have a couple pictures here that I didn't get to use, which is fine. Um, so now that I have an idea of how I want it, I'm gonna take a picture so I don't forget because we're gonna take it off. And then um, and we're gonna start layering now. Okay, so I have my phone right next to me. We're gonna take the ones on top off and we're gonna add the ones at the bottom first. <laughs> For this year like the comparison of like last year and how like minimal it is to how like insane this one looks this year um a lot more visuals a lot more like things on here <sighs> but like it's nothing that i like can not see myself with so i'm really excited you guys can take it to the next level and laminate it i'm debating whether or not i want to do that just yet um, just to preserve it just a little bit more. Um, but yeah, like, I, it's not like I cannot see myself, like, doing these things, like, making friends. It's so, like, it's realistic to do, but it's hard to get. Like, dating, you know, there's lots of ways you could date now. Travel, um, apart from my own lease, that one's the one that's just, like, oof, school stuff. But, like, these are, like, it makes me super excited, like, looking at all this. Like, it's the life that I, that I wish to live. <laughs> Literally, so... I can't wait to put this up so if you guys like this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already also click the notification bell so you do know when i do upload and follow me on all my social media i'm at Geraldi silva thank you guys so much for watching and i'll catch you guys later bye